Hey guys, AJ here, Spartan Up Fitness. Uh, today we're gonna make a chili, a delicious Mediterranean chili, a little bit of fusion cook in here. Uh, lots of vegetables, lots of meats, tomatoes, it's gonna be good. And here's how we're gonna do it. All right guys, so what we're gonna start here is a onion, cut it in half, and then we're gonna cut it into a small dice uh, and chop that up for the chili. Easy, just cut it down the slices down the side and then cut it down the middle. Now we're gonna <clears throat> prepare our zucchini. So what we're gonna do is uh, chop this into quarters and then we're gonna chop it in about inch thick pieces, about bite size, kinda like this here. All right, now we're gonna take some garlic, we're gonna take the clove, crush it with the knife, and then peel it, comes off nice and easy, and we'll put that aside for crushing later. Now we're adding a bit of hot, a bit of oil to our hot pan, adding some uh, ground beef to the pan, and what we're gonna do is cook this off so it's nice and uh, cooked and rendered all the fat out. Once that's uh, in the pan, make sure we break it up into little pieces to help with that rendering process. Now we wanna make sure we drain our oil before we add the onions throwing in our onions here, and then we're gonna throw in some of the garlic, we're gonna crush it with a garlic press. And give that a quick stir. Now we're gonna add in our spices. We got some, about a tablespoon of cinnamon. Uh, then we're gonna add about a teaspoon. <laughs> Be careful with this, but smoke paprika, this stuff is powerful. Too much and it'll overpower your uh, chili. And then we're gonna add in a, about four tablespoons of chili. and give that a mix and what we're doing is cook, cooking those uh, spices off to enhance their flavors. And once that's done, we're gonna add our tomatoes in. This is some uh, chopped tomatoes. And I also like to add in full plum tomatoes and I like to break those up with the spoon. It gives a bit more of a, I don't know, more of a rustic feel to the chili. Now we're gonna add in our beans and chickpeas. I didn't go with your typical regular kidney beans. I want your white ones, cause I think the color is gonna look nicer with the contrasting. Give that a mix and let's heat that for about uh, 20 minutes after we add some water to it and let that reduce down a bit. And I'd say about 25 to 40 minutes is where you wanna be. Now we're gonna heat up another pan and add our zucchini that we chopped earlier. Our main reason we're doing this and not adding to the chili is we wanna get a nice golden brown color on the zucchini. Um, and we have a little bit more control over the cooking time of it. Um, I like to having that little bit of caramelization adds a bit of flavor, so as you can see here, it's very delicious. And then I add a bit of spinach to the pan, and uh, instead of adding it directly to chili, I just decide to throw it in here. You can throw it right into the chili if you want, it's not a big deal. I just wanted to throw it in here, because why not? Um, <laughs> give it a little mix. Now you're adding a bit of hot sauce, salt and pepper to season. I use Valentina's hot sauce, it's delicious. It's probably one of my favorites. Um, and then we'll add our vegetables into the chili. Be careful not to burn yourself because this pan is still very hot. Once you add it in, give it a stir to combine everything. Now, the best thing to do is let this sit for a day because you get all those flavors combined. But as you can see, this can eat right out of the pot. Delicious, delicious chili. There you go guys, Mediterranean chili. If you like the recipe, uh, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more coming from me, please subscribe. And if you want uh, any of me to do anything in the future, uh, just mention it in the comments below and I'll see what I can do for you guys. Peace.